Hello friends, welcome back. I'm Deepak and I'm gonna show you how to make a water level indicator project in Proteus. So let's go to start. So there are uh, many types of uh, water level indicator circuit are present so I am taking one of them so this is the circuit diagram of the water level indicator here is the uh, 330 ohm resistor 9 volt DC battery and here is VC547 transistor and 12 volt budget a red LED a white LED a green LED the LED are required for indicating the level indicate for indication and this is a tanker in order to know the level of water inside the tank we use this circuit so component requests are 330 ohm resistor and uh, second is VC547 transistor then an a buzz, buzzer of 12 volt then red green yellow LED here I mentioned that the color of the LED may be chosen according to your choice no problem but LED are must regard because it can help you to indicate the level okay. next is 9 volt battery and uh, when the circuit is completed on the Proctius the circuit just look like this so this is our battery of 9 volt and uh, these are the resistor of 330 ohm R1, R2, R3 are our resistors Q1, Q2 and Q3 are our transistor VC547 and uh, this is our buzzer of 12 volt and uh, these are our LEDs red LED yellow LED, LED green LED so uh, in Proctius the tanker are not allowed so we use open switch in it so here instead of uh, our uh, tank we use the switches to uh, con to connect the circuit so grounded points are connected to negative terminal and other points are connected to positive ter terminal okay so it is the base of the transistor which is connected to our positive terminal and uh, this is the emitter of the transistor which is connected to negative terminal and in the upper portion is our collector which are connected to our sources so here one another changes are there here the switch is reversed where positive terminal are connected here and the negative terminal are connected here so this is the point this is the negative terminal of the buzzer and this is the positive terminal of the buzzer so the positive terminal are connected to this person and the negative terminal are connected to this person so how can you do it on Proctius so let's start so first we go to the Proctius 
we create water level indicator project here so first uh, I uh, see the circuit so uh, first uh, this is uh, my circuit of water level indicator so I use this circuit on this this point so so I can first allocate the component so I can first uh, allocate the register so I can write register then ok then uh, I can write basically uh, 547 Seven. This is, is the our bipolar transistor. So we can click on it and uh, select. Then we can go to our uh, nine volt battery. This is a DC battery, so just write battery B A T T E R Y. So here one battery sources are sources battery two battery are sources one cells are sources I can choose the live description of DC volt battery because 9 volt uh, battery is a DC battery so I can click on that and uh, press OK then next is our uh, red LED So this is our anyway anyway activation LED. So you can show this diode symbol here. Then after that, uh, I can uh, allocate three LED. The second LED is yellow LED. The second is yellow LED. So this is our second yellow LED and third is the our green LED. So this is our green LED. After that we can uh, allocate buzzer. Buzzer buzzer is a generic buzzer here we can collect it so first uh, buzzer we can choose generic buzzer symbol so buzzer is selected for uh, uh, tank purpose so that means uh, due to for this uh, this tank we can uh, use the many types of switches so for uh, that we can uh, write a switch so here switch is selected and just click OK so then we can connect it so here we can we see 547 so we can uh, come here and uh, put this so I can just uh, put it here and the second is our register so in, in order to change the position just click uh, on uh, your keyboard plus symbol so it can start rotating and put it and uh, left clicking on that and uh, then the components are uh, come to your uh, screen then uh, the third is your uh, LEDs so we can connect the red LED first so in order to change the position in order to rotate the clockwise you can press plus button and you can uh, rotate the anti-clockwise you can press uh, minus button so it can be red LED should be fixed yellow LED should be fixed and then uh, green LED will be fixed 
and after that uh, buzzer is uh, fixed here so you can uh, rotate it and uh, fix here and after that uh, we can uh, connect the battery here so in order to rotation we can click plus symbol where plus sign is upward and uh, minus sign is downward so we can connect it so for connection we can just left click on mouse then go to connection and then connect simply we connect it after connection we can connect the buzzer here so we can connect it to in a buzzer and uh, we can uh, select the switches for it here, here so I select the switches here and then I press ok click here plus ok ok so on another switch is also present so I can uh, rotate it clock clockwise so this is a symbol where we can uh, uh, positive terminal is connected to positive terminal and negative terminal is connected to negative terminal so here negative terminal is connected to negative terminal and the positive terminal are connected to positive terminal so I can uh, connect the positive terminal to our uh, base and uh, and the negative terminal connected to emitter whereas the co collector is connected to our uh, collector connected to resistor so here we are uh, we are having the battery we can connect the negative terminal to our negative switch so you can maximize it so you can see that properly or maximize is not seeing so here we can change the value of the uh, voltage so double click on the value and then change to 9 volt and uh, press ok and we can change it 10 kilo ohm we required 330 ohm 330 ohm oh hm and uh, we can also change it to for 330 oh hm ohm and for it uh, we can change it to 330 Oh, um. so after that it can be it can, it is completed and uh, one more thing uh, is that uh, it uh, all the switches are uh, we are connected it into in uh, opposite direction so be careful for that and uh, th this this portion is the point of positive side and this portion is the point of negative side so close all switches for uh, connection after that the circuit is completed and after that uh, this is our run button uh, uh, this is our runner simulation button this is a button where we due to when we press it it can uh, run uh, our simulation 
and this is our pause simulation button well, due to which the simulation can be paused and this is the stop simulation due to which the simulation can be stopped so in order to know the error in this circuit or the circuit is good or there is a defect in the circuit we can check by run it so we can uh, run it first so I can run it and uh, some messages are present so so there are messages some they keep facing that uh, r1 r2 r3 value are not specified so you can uh, for that so we can uh, we are in a run mode so just uh, stop it after that uh, go to register and oh, you ju I, I just uh, write a home here so this is ok so we just uh, put the value not the symbols so the so there are uh, using error so again place ok and then uh, run it so this is error only record. So we can see th there is the message that property statement is built in. The load see this is the destination file where the file is so saved, and uh, this is the output. So in here this is our schematic capt capture. In order to no, this is co after completion we can go to our PCV layouts so here uh, due to our schematic uh, capture over so, so the PCV layouts is coming so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video